Good morning guys, it is Tuesday, 30th of May and it's 8.35 or something in about an hour and a half we will have to go and get ready um, to catch the train to Birmingham so I might look really tired um, I promise I had a bit good sleep, it's just first thing in the morning, we are eats, go get all puffy, then and I'm just brushing up my retainers, I just popped them in and I thought to myself to make I could talk to you. Um so yeah we're going to we're going today. Uh, by train we're going to maybe look at something over there, but definitely look at some shops. I want to spend some of my birthday money and um, obviously I had birthday money but uh, what was it in my eyes are so I'm not going to go um, for me to spend because I've got way too little to spend it but it's fine because I don't want to save as much as I can um, before the two years are up to um, in the future, so so yeah, so I'm gonna get ready in a bit after having a cup of tea and head out. So I'll probably pick up the camera when we're doing that, just that. So let's <laughs> love and look at it like two cities. Okay, so yeah. Just meant to leave and yeah. Yes, we have arrived in Birmingham. We're just in H and M. Oh my God, it is really busy. Really busy. I can't. I can't. Alicia, 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 do you mind? I'm really vlog in busy because it's so many people and it really went through. So yeah. Also, I hate this room because at the moment it starts to stink. So I like to open up my window to get some. Well, it's a bit stuffy in here. Not not stinking, but a bit stuffy in here. So I like to open the window just to keep it a little bit cool because this vent, our windows in here don't call the latch where it can, where I used to live. Um, they did. So I used, if I was heading up for the week and or for the day, I would pop on the latch and then, but now I've got, I either have it open fully or just have it on um, or have it closed. So yeah. Okay, so I've got so much things to tell you. So first of all, I didn't buy, I didn't get anything like, um, I didn't take any of my birthday money and everything. So well, what is left in cash anyway. Um, because if you know, you know that I have transferred so much from there. Anyway, we, um, so obviously the train that we went on, it was the same train there and there, then there and back. So the train was one of the new trains, um, 
one because you could one you knew in because the interiors were all nice and i know the trains because we've been on the same train um company before when we went to worcester when we first moved to this area and um it was all nice and clean there's a few little bits when we went to worcester like we bit of litter because we did go quite like i think the train we caught was like 12 o'clock 11 o'clock train so it was 12 o'clock train so it's obviously just got lunch time and things but yeah it, it was nice and tidy um and we knew it was a new train because you know like on a car they have their reg number and you can tell if it's a new model or an old model well it has similar uh, similar style to that um and yeah so when we got into the room we got oh my god it was so bloody busy like you could think about you had to th you could literally stand somewhere like in, even in a corner plan where you want to go you had to literally know where you're going um or go and sit down and find where you're going so for, as as we as we are a new time um person that's go uh and what would you call it? what would a person that hasn't been to um we went with them we didn't know where we we're going kind of thing so when Dan um has been to film with them years ago when he was like a child and things but by now it's it has been um, changed a lot so yeah we didn't know where we we're going and as we didn't know what also we didn't know what shops were there um we could see all the major shops but we went into a shopping center called the um bull ring and most of those had like really high um brands like Tommy, um, the Tommy, I can't say the H bit, um, Ted Baker, um, they had Rolex, um, and brands like that were there, and uh, we did go into this, like, Lego store, and oh my god, this Lego store had every single set in, it was really big, you had, so we go in, and one side you had all like the uh, bigger builds, more challenging builds, things more for display, not for play. And then on the opposite side, you had Disney, Friends, Lego City. And then you also had at the back, you had, um, if you were missing bits, like missing Lego bits, you could go there, find the bits you have, because it, it was all sorted by objects, so uh, things you could get. But also colour, so you would have had blue, and then you would have had maybe um, two pieces, one piece, um, small bits, big bits, um, and that kind of thing. And the same with all the other colours. And if they didn't have that colour, I did see our sign, if you didn't have the colour that you wanted, they would go back and uh, you just take a piece, any piece, take it to them, and they will go to their back cause they, and get the other colour and get that colour out for you um, and how many you need because um, obviously you can't have every single colour on display so that was that also you can make your own big um, mega, uh, mega what do they call mini figurines and make them make yourself and yeah um, and yeah it was a really nice day like we went so one of the I don't know if it what the next there was multiple uh, shopping malls uh, shopping centres, if you go, every when you went in, there was like a load of like food places, you went into the ball and, I got, sorry, I got to put you down, my arm was, maybe I'll put you here, a lot of them were, um, there was like a shopping centre, and you went into the ball and like, there was like loads of like, um, little cafes, little, there's loads of cocktail places, so if you were a person that went that likes drinking cocktails. You could have gone to every single one, <laughs> um, but it, you could, so 
one place there is there was most of like the chain restaurants. So Nando's, Mac Wagamara's, um, what else were there? Five Guys, um, Burger King, um, and loads more. Um, we were also in there, and yeah, so, so it was a really good day. Um, I would really recommend if you're um, nearby. Just um, and I know. Also, there's quite a few. Um, I. In the boring, uh, you could look all the way down to the bottom. Well, it went on one. You, you got down to level one, and um, the ground, what the ground floor is called, and you could look down to the. You could see uh, the glass where the um, car park is, and I looked down, and you could see there's loads of spaces stuff available so you could either park. I did see a few a signs um, with um, car parking um, prices and I just thought it was, that was really reasonable. I think it was like five pounds for like five hours. I'm more more than I think it's more than like, like five pounds I think it was like five pounds for a day or something. So that was re really reasonable. But also go on the train, go on the bus. Um, it was really quick on the train, so yeah, really, really recommend to go in if you haven't gone. Um, and yeah, so now we're gonna obviously have some tea. I think we might sit in the living room on a tray on, on the floor or, or on a tray with some soup. Because mum and dad really found it easy because even though I was in shorts, they were more in like really um, thin clothing and it was really cold. It wasn't that cold, but it was cooler there than where, where we live. So. <laughs> um, and it also, it was also cooler where we were supposed to, where it was supposed to um, be. So they thought we'll have some soup, so we'll have some soup, maybe watch BGT, and as I said, and yeah, I, can't, um, I think tomorrow we're going to have a nice calm little day, get some housework done, and then for Tuesday, Thursday we're going to go out again, and then Friday, and then maybe Saturday, Sunday we might go out, so yeah.